Before the video begins, I just want to apologize for being away for so long. I recently went through a procedure on my leg and I was going through tremendous pain. It was very hard for me to move around and function properly. I should slowly be getting back into my regular posting schedule. Thank you for understanding and enjoy the video. I got off work at around 10 p.m. and headed home. I live alone and always make sure my front door is locked before I leave for work. But when I got home, the door was unlocked. I knew for a fact that I locked it when I left because, like I stated, I always lock it. I also have a severe OCD and would not have forgotten to lock my door as I am too obsessed with my routine to forget. I was thoroughly unsettled by this and immediately retrieved my 9mm pistol from the drawer next to my front door. I set the bag of fast food I had picked up down and looked around the dark living room fumbling for the light switch. Once the light flicked on, to my utter horror my apartment was in complete disarray. Paperwork was thrown all over the floor that I had put away in my office and my social security card and birth certificate were among the mess. I quickly made my way to my office and once I entered the room, I found all the drawers were open and my computer had been turned on and was on the lock screen as if someone had tried to get into my computer. I checked the rest of my apartment and didn't find anybody. I put my gun back and immediately phoned the police. They arrived fairly quickly and took a report of the break-in. They asked me if I had any enemies or if I had made anyone mad recently, to which I responded that I haven't. No such thing had occurred and furthermore, I am not the type to have quarrels with people. I was quite dumbstruck by what I had come home to. I cleaned up the mess and attempted to sleep but tossed and turned most of the night while laying with my gun under my pillow. I would like to add that I am also a very paranoid person so the whole thing naturally had me freaked out and every night I go to bed, I have my gun under my pillow. The next day I had off so I left to go hiking with my girlfriend. I left around 9am and stopped by the Starbucks next to my apartment. While I sat in the busy drive through line, I looked up and noticed a man staring at me from across the street on the same side as my apartment complex. The thing that was most interesting about this man was how much of a resemblance to me he bared. This guy had the same hair as me, was about the same height and weight, wore glasses just like me, and looked to be about the same age as me too. He didn't appear to have any expression on his face and just stood there, still as a statue, staring at me. It was my turn to get my order so I grabbed my coffee and when I went to pull out of the drive through the man was gone. The day went as planned and my girlfriend and I had a great day together. I told her about the incident at my apartment and the man who looked like me and she joked that perhaps my doppelganger had broken into my apartment. After I parted ways with my girlfriend, I made my way home. I was a bit nervous to return home, fearing whoever had broken into my apartment might have returned. Whatever they were there for that night, they seemed to be looking for something. I arrived back at my apartment and made my way to my apartment unit. I live upstairs and as I approached the stairs to my front door, I heard someone coming down the stairs. I was still a good distance from the stairwell and was alarmed as I didn't have a neighbor that lived upstairs, therefore, no one should have been coming down those stairs. I stopped to see who it was and, to my shock, it was none other than the same man that I had seen earlier that morning. He walked quickly and looked down as he walked. I shouted at him to stop, but as soon as he heard me, he took off running and hopped the fence that separates the apartment complex from a large field and disappeared into the night. I ran upstairs to my apartment and tried the doorknob which was once again unlocked. I went inside and was horrified. All over the walls in my living room were pictures of me and my girlfriend from that day. Pictures that looked as if they had been taken right from the tree line next to the trail that her and I were on. I once again called the police to report the break in. They came and searched the apartment as well as the entire complex. I told them that I had seen the man running into the field. They searched the entire field and returned with a pair of eyeglasses and a wig. The police took the items they found into evidence and opened the case. 
They stationed two police cars outside my apartment and informed the apartment manager about what was going on. It's been almost a week since all this has started and nothing else has happened since. No more random break-ins or creepy photos of me and my girlfriend. I've also been staying with a co-worker of mine until things die down. I have no idea why whoever is doing this is targeting me. Based on the items the police found in the field, my guess is that this person is pretending to be me for some odd reason. I don't know what any of this means. I'll be sure to update if anything else happens. Update. I just returned to my apartment and everything is how I left it when I left. The door was locked and everything is fine. I feel relieved and I'm hoping that this nightmare is over. I only have one small lead that I'd like to share. I texted my old friend to ask him if he knows anything and he sent me back laughing emojis and then blocked me. This is normal behavior for him however as he has mental health issues and acts erratic sometimes. Once again I will update you guys if anything else occurs. Second update. So I've been home since my last update and yesterday I got home from work and met Mike. I parked my car in my usual spot to go out and was greeted by a younger guy around 19, maybe 20 years old. He introduced himself as the new maintenance guy and told me his name was Mike. This morning I walked out to my car and noticed Mike staring at me with a completely blank expression. He just stared at me and never once appeared to blink. I went about my day thinking nothing of it. When I got home from work I pulled into my parking space and made my way to my apartment only to see Mike literally walking out of my front door and locking it behind him. I was confused about this, but not alarmed, as I knew he worked at the complex. As he turned around to look at me, he just smiled. Oh, hello. We left you an email informing you that your smoke alarm was going off rapidly, and it wouldn't stop, so due to constant complaints, I was permitted to briefly enter your unit to fix the alarm, Mike said in a polite but robotic tone. I was skeptical immediately because of the fact that they didn't wait for me to come home to enter, which they're supposed to do. Due to my constant paranoia, I cannot help but fear that something else is going on. I don't know what to really make of this. I'm definitely going to the apartment manager on Monday to discuss this with her. Final update. Today I got off work around 4pm and stopped by a local diner to get some pancakes. The waiter came out and took my order and went back inside. This place is doing outdoor dining due to COVID-19, and I was sitting at the table closest to the entrance. I was just sitting there at my table reading an email, when all of a sudden I felt something insanely hot hit the side of my face. It was a latte from Starbucks. As I screamed in pain and jumped from my seat, I was met with a man. A man with short hair and glasses. He smiled at me as he quickly walked away. The waiter witnessed the whole thing and offered to call the police, but... I told him not to worry about it. I know exactly who's doing all of this now. The man who threw the latte at me is the same man who's been stalking me all along.